All right, so there's one thing that you should make sure you do before even thinking about becoming a digital nomad. And I see loads of people doing this, sort of making this mistake, but you know, no one's really talking about how important this is. And that is this, lots of people see an article about being a, being a nomad and working from anywhere, especially like working from the beach. You may have seen these articles where you can retire and like get a passive income from the beach and all this stuff. And so many people think that just because they can work remotely, they instantly are ready to go and travel to Thailand or Bali or wherever and live and work remotely from there. By the way, before we get into this, just make sure you subscribe if you want more of these types of videos. I'm doing daily updates, daily vlogs and travel stories and techniques and everything like that, so make sure to subscribe. Without even considering things like tax and like how they're gonna make money. So this is like the most fundamental part of being a digital nomad is that you need to actually digitally earn money. You can't just go on a massive holiday and expect it to pay for itself because it won't work like that. So one of the most common mistakes and sort of things I see people doing is they just leave to somewhere they want to go to with no plan or with no plan or sort of schedule or template for how they're going to actually make money while they're there. Especially if you are a freelancer, you might think that you're ready and in you know, most cases you are ready. But if you only rely on one source of income, if you only have freelancer income from say Upwork for example, that can go away at any point. You can get a couple of bad reviews, maybe the work stops coming in, maybe your laptop breaks or you know whatever the case is, you break your hand. You, so many things could happen while you're out there, while you're trying to become a digital nomad and these things could just stop you in your tracks. And especially if you've got no plan or sort of no idea of what you're going to do when things like that happen, you're going to be very stuck. So there are a few ways around this. What I would suggest to do is if you do want to become a digital nomad, you need to have a business plan before you go. You need to have some way of making money, some either whether it's savings, investment income, passive income, or a mixture of all of them plus active income. You need to have some way of making money while you're out there. And that can be a number of different things, but you need to have a plan, and not only a plan of how you're gonna do it, right? But you need to you need to actually have like a reliable sort of track record. I wouldn't go and pack my bags for Thailand unless I had at least six months to a year where for every single month in that time period I'd been earning at least a grand and a half. Because otherwise you're not gonna have that reliable income when you're out there. And the chances are something will go wrong. Or maybe the internet isn't good enough. Maybe you, you know, lose track of your clients or you get a couple of bad reviews. Like, literally anything could happen. Um, and you need to be prepared for that. So not only do you need to have an income, like a proven income month by month, but also you need to have some sort of savings. You need to have, ideally, some passive income as well, because for those days when you can't work, especially if you're working for yourself as a freelancer, no one's gonna pay you when you're sick. No one's gonna give you sick days or, you know, payment for if you just don't wanna go in to work, because you work for yourself. So you, you pay yourself. So, especially if you're a freelancer on Upwork, no one's gonna pay you for your sick days. You need to have some sort of way of budgeting for the days when you're sick. And if you're going to the, if you're going to Asia or somewhere, you know, far from where you are used to, chances are you will get sick and it will probably be worse than any sickness you've ever had because in different parts of the world, different sicknesses are common and you know, in some parts it's worse than others. So what if you get ill for a month? What if you get ill for two months? You need a way of sustaining yourself if you do get sick for more than a month at a time. And it's possible, it's very possible in fact. And that comes through planning, saving, and having a passive income and an active income. So what I would suggest to do is to make a list of all the thing, the ways you could make money, and then try and tick as many of them off as you can. Try and have, let's, let's say if you're a designer, okay, a web designer. Make a list of all the things you could do to make money. Like for example, you could write an ebook on how to design websites. You could have a portfolio of Upwork and, and non-Upwork clients where you design websites for them and maybe maintain the websites. You could write a WordPress theme, the code for a WordPress theme, and then sell that theme on various marketplaces and get paid every time someone buys that. That's passive income. You know, you could also then t start taking some of the money that you earn every month before you go and investing it and then the investment income will give you interest, which is a passive income. And then when you have a mixture of all of these things, when you have all of those things, and they all add up to one big income, then you're gonna be a lot less worried and a lot less vulnerable to things like getting sick, or to things like, say if you go out there and then suddenly you decide that your passion is to go sailing, and, you, and suddenly you wanna devote a month to sailing, you can do that, because you've planned for it. But if you go out there with no plan, no savings, no income, 
just you know a dream in a suitcase you're the chances are you're going to run into trouble and you're either going to be working all the time to just about support yourself or you're going to have to beg the people that you know for the money for a ticket home and that's not what anybody wants so just make a plan it's very easy to do just make a plan stick to it build up some savings build up some passive income i've got a, a list of 39 passive income ideas in the description and just sort of prepare for it Use, you just try and think more about what you're doing. Think more about the risks, the, you know, the potential upside and the potential downside of becoming a digital nomad and how you can plan for it if it's a lifestyle that you want.